In this part of 7.5, we're going to be talking about the zeros of polynomial functions, and we'll start talking about complex solutions for polynomials and what that looks like on a graph. So let's plug this one into our calculator and see what we get. So here's what our graph will look like. Now, it does continue down here, keeps going, and it, and it does its normal path looking like a cubic function because we know this is cubic. We have x times x squared, so you can give us x cubed. But it only crosses the graph one time. But with a cubic, we know that we should have three solutions. So where are the other two solutions? Well, keep in mind, if we were to solve this one here, because we already know that we already know that this one would give me an answer of 3, and we can see that right here. But this other one, if we were to set that equal to 0, we have x squared plus 9 equals 0. I'm going to have x squared equals negative 9. And if I square root that, I'm going to get an imaginary solution. I'm going to get two imaginary solutions. So these are going to be imaginary, or in other words, complex. Okay, so we can also call those complex solutions. Now, imaginary and complex solutions come in pairs. You need to remember that. You're never going to have one complex. You're always going to have two or four or six and so on. You'll never have just one imaginary solution or three imaginary solutions. They always come in pairs. So let's try another example. So this here is a quartic polynomial. Quartic. And we know with those we're going to have four solutions. Well, I can see that it crosses the graph four times. Therefore, we're going to have four real solutions and zero complex or imaginary solutions. Let's try another one. Feel free to pause if you want to try it yourself. Here we have a cubic. So I know that I'm going to have three solutions. Well, this only crosses the graph one time right here. So there's one real solution. If there's one real, there has to be two complex left over. Remember, the complex solutions come in pairs. 